really good massage with that warm cup to the kidneys. You can see the rosiness come in here and the back will benefit, you know, any tightness in the fascia, the muscle, etc. will just dissolve. So it is said that where there are stronger markings, they're not necessarily uh, lasting markings, they just rosy the skin while the cup is there. The stronger the markings, the more the cupping is needed because there is an issue there underneath or in the organ. Okay, getting a nice warm towel from the radiator on you. Just going to tuck it in the top of your trousers. Is that all right there, Melissa? Yeah. yeah. Nice and warm. Okay, I'm going to cover your hair with a nice towel on the top, protecting. And I've got some oil heating here. There's no essential oil in, it's just a beautiful organic sunflower oil that's going on. Okay, relaxing your elbows, that's it, lovely. So I'm bearing in mind that you came in saying about a sore neck and the treatment has also brought up a little misalignment to the left hand side lower back into the hip. So I'm just going to do some light cupping. It'll, I think you might even like it because it's very warming. Okay, so just testing it on the inside of my arm. First one's going to go around here. So just working down that side of the spine and now to the other. How does it feel, Melissa? I really like it, actually. Ooh. <laughs> So having done a little flash cupping, we're just doing a little bit of moving cupping. I'm checking out the movement of the spine, making sure there's some flow, some fluidity there. And of course, when I was doing the tween R a moment ago, this area, just higher than bra line, about T8 was quite sore and stiff, so this will introduce some nice warmth and movement.
So it is said that where there are stronger markings, they're not necessarily uh, lasting markings, they just rosy the skin while the cup is there. The stronger the markings, the more the cupping is needed because there is an issue there underneath or in the organ. So for instance, in TCM, Chinese techniques, we tend to call it stagnation. So where the blood is not moving, is not flowing, has stagnated, then we need to create that flow just like we do with yoga and activations, with really good exercise, with massage and other therapies. Anything that gets the body flowing and moving has got to be a good thing. Uh, and of course, always bearing in mind it needs to be symmetrical. So whatever we do, exercise or treatment wise to one side of the body, we also need to keep it symmetrical, treat the other side of the body. So one of the worst things we can do to our bodies, I think you're going to like this, is hoovering and sweeping and mopping and raking, anything that is one-sided, because of course we tend to put one foot forward while we're supporting the body and we're hoovering, mopping, raking, etc. You okay? Yeah. I don't know why I thought it would be scary. It's it's really nice. I thought you might like it. And you know, some parts of your back will like it more than others. So I'm imagining you're gonna like this area. Mm, oh yeah. Because it's kidneys. And kidneys love being warm, as I said. So really good massage with that warm cup to the kidneys. You can see the rosiness come in here. And the back will benefit, you know, any tightness in the fascia, the muscle, etc., will just dissolve. So bless you, having never had cupping before, and yet it might be the thing that your body really responds to. Yeah, I've only had like the, the silicone version, but not anything using fire or heat. Or yeah. Have you had pump cupping before. Pump? Yeah, with with using a hand pump. Um, oh, only once as like an example, but not actually a treatment. Okay, because I've got the Korean, those are Korean, so I've got those as ah. well. And I tend to use those, because they're smaller, I tend to use them on smaller areas like arms and legs, um, and joints. But the most effective of all cupping has got to be fire cupping because of the heat that it produces and, and infuses into the, the body. I mean, the spine, you know, to have that heat going into the spine, especially on a cold, wintry day like it is at the moment. It's, it's March in England. Well, we've got spring coming soon. Um, but, you know, it's foggy and chilly outside, isn't it? So it's so nice to infuse some heat deep into the body. So because you mentioned about your neck, I'm just going to leave a few cups on you. Melissa, if you had the odd cup mark, would that be awful? It's okay.
so working it along the sacrum to bring that lovely realignment and settling feeling into the hips and the sacrum. Lovely. So you might have the odd pale mark. Hopefully it won't last too long. And they, they're not like bruises, they don't hurt. It's a completely different, a cupping mark. to help that neck. There is some tightness there. That's good. It's gone nice and rosy. Beautiful. That will help me when I come to do the neck release. So carrying on with the tweener, the spine feels so much better. Wow, this area is now moving. Oh, brilliant. Love cupping. Yeah, so where there is a little mark is about here, which is about T8, the place that was really tight just above your bra line. And sacrum is move, moving so well. The neck is even moving. Wonderful.